Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and talk about this post that GDG released about, I think it was last night. Uh, the main reason why I want to talk about it is it's covering the holy skills uh, along with uh, a video shown below. And this is kind of what I wanted to play um, on the new league. The main reason why is I've, I've always been a fan of like holy and kind of like darkness as a thing and chaos is kind of like darkness which is why I've played it so much and holy is something that's kind of new I mean there is like smite and stuff but this is like brand new stuff so before I go ahead and do that let's go ahead and actually read through and see what this is about so the video is going to go ahead and show purifying flame wave of conviction and divine ire so Purifying Flame. Purifying Flame is a physical and fire spell that is accessible to you at level 1. When cast, it sends a wave uh, that when it arrives at the enemy, deals damage in a circle around it and consecrates the ground. This spell then cre or sends out a damaging shockwave that affects enemies in a larger area on any consecrated ground. So, the only thing about this skill uh, from shown in the video is you kind of have to use it multiple times to get it going unless you're doing something with like Inquisitor where I think you can get Consecrated Ground on hit or on kill. Um, and then there's Wave of Conviction, which this is actually one of the cooler skills and I'll talk about that at like the end of this video. Wave of Conviction is a new level 16 skill that sends out a cone of force that deals physical damage with a conversion of 25% to fire and lightning to every enemy uh, to every enemy in the area it impacts. The wave lasts for a duration, which means that both the area effect and modifiers and duration modifiers influence the total area it can reach. When you cast it again, it stops the wave and recreates it. So basically, if you think of it like a vol skill, you could cast it one time, it'll go ahead and throw out, and you can see that it reduces enemy resistance based off of the main element it deals. So for example, say you had a mainly fire wave of conviction, you could also use something like um, combustion, which when it ignites, lowers enemy resistance. Say you're playing a crit build, you use wave of conviction, it minuses 25 fire res, which then can also, if it crits slash ignites, apply combustion, which makes it like a really nice skill for debuffing. So we don't have like this weird inconsistency. I know a lot of you guys may not see that, but I've been playing Path of Exile for like five plus years. And I really enjoy when they try to remove clunkiness and fix it with something new. Um, so for example, in this little note here, it's skills that reduce resistances. This talks about how Frost Bomb now is cold exposure and Scorching Ray is fire exposure, which is the same thing as Wave of Conviction. It would feel really weird if you would have to like Wave of Conviction and then use like Searing Nussering Bond, Scorching Ray Totem on top of doing something else only before you can use your main skill to do like your highest damage. So I'm really happy about this. And then there's Divine Ire. Divine Ire is a tw level 28 channeled spell that damages a few nearby enemies while charging up power and then unleashing a sudden deadly beam. It deals physical damage with 50% converted to lightning, gains an additional stages for each enemy zapped, with a chance to gain an extra stage from normal and magic enemies. It always gains an additional stage against rare and unique enemies, this lets you charge and unleash the beam rapidly if you position yourself well. Now, I will also like to state that there are three new support gems for casters coming out in this patch. There's the two, one of them is like an AoE increase slash AoE reduce depending on how long you, I don't know if it's channel or cast. I don't remember the other one, but the other, the third one that I want to talk about is they're reworking, um, I forgot what it's called. It's basically a support gem that says while you're channeling, you gain physical reduction and a chance to gain a power charge when you get hit. And they said they're going to be redoing that, and I'm pretty curious to see how that's going to work out with Divine Ire. So, nonetheless, let's go ahead and get into the video. This is going to be the first skill that they were showcasing, which basically you can see they cast, creates Consecrated Ground. And then they're recasting it to make it bounce. Now, this is also being played as an Inquisitor, if you're curious. Uh, the reason you can tell is he's got that little little white ring that's actually... Uh, I forgot what it's called. It's the Inquisitor's Aura that reduces their enemy elemental resistance. That's the Wave of Conviction we were talking about. You can see if you try to cast another wave of conviction, it removes the first wave of conviction.
And then this is the last one, the channel. Now, one thing to note about this skill, because it may seem a little off-putting to people, this is actually the skill I think I'm going to League start with as a Jug. Uh, I was playing a Jug Flame Blast build, ended up dying to uh, Betrayal mobs, because, you know, Betrayal is just... You gotta really pay attention to them, or else they're gonna insta-kill you. Uh, but one thing to note about the skill is, notice how it actually stuns white mobs. Now, I noticed... Or I know that a lot of people are like, oh, white mobs, blah, 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 whatever. White mobs will kill you in Path of Exile. If you're running tier 15 maps with three damage mobs er, and mods, and you let a white mob hit you, and you're not, like, with, like, your flasks up, it's probably gonna, like, almost insta-kill you. So, having the ability to have a channeled skill that actually can kill monsters around it while you're channeling is something that I'm really happy to see. So anyway, that's pretty much the showcase. Um, I remember when I first started playing Blight, um, I started playing Blight and I was like, wow, this skill is really terrible. But what happens if you could get Blight to kill with one to two ticks? So you run up to a pack and you just tap it and the degen kills them. What if you can get Divine Ire, so basically you have enough damage that anything that's a white mob just dies because you're just running through and channeling and you only have to release on rare mobs and blue packs. And then ideally with even insane, more insane gear, maybe you can skip the blue packs and make it so the Divine Ire is really only needed to be like aimed at the uh, rare mobs. But I'm not really sure on that. But definitely looking towards Divine Ire, uh, especially with the new Herald, not Heralds, but the new, um, the new auras that are coming out. Did they showcase that actually? Hideout and Divination cards. Let me see if this is up here or not. I don't think so. Nope, just hideouts. Nope. Anyway, that's pretty much going to be about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, if you're curious, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I may not be streaming too much Path of Exile right now because I'm mainly waiting for the uh, Betrayal League to drop, but expect me to be on there a day or two before. Um, and also, if you are curious, I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Uh, my kitty, Mr. Mini K, is right here. He's actually sleeping. Uh, Mini K has been a bad boy, and unfortunately, he's not really allowed in my room anymore while I'm streaming because he just he just doesn't know how to be quiet. He just cries and cries and cries unless I hold him, and it's really difficult to play video games while holding a five-year-old kitty like this all the time. Isn't that right, Mr. Mini K? You want to say goodbye? Mini K, say goodbye. Mini K says goodbye. You want to lick your tail for everybody? Psst, psst. Mike? Mike? No? Come on, Mike, say goodbye. Mike says goodbye, everybody. See you guys all later.